Hey friends, it's Betsy from the blog of flourishingplace.com and in today's video we are talking about freezer organization ideas. interested I have a full blog post on this in the description box below so you can check that out if you want I also have my free guide it's five simple steps for decluttering any space in your home and that is super helpful for just taking you through any decluttering project that you have whether it is your freezer or it's a closet or your basement garage whatever like I said my name is Betsy I have a wonderful husband and two small children and we went from my husband and I living in a condo with a little freezer on the upper part of our refrigerator to when we bought our house, continuing to have a freezer with that kind of upper part of the refrigerator, but then also adding like a three quarter size freezer in the garage. And that freezer has been great for us. We found it on Craigslist, but I will tell you the freezer can get a little bit crazy. Now I have made efforts to organize it in the past and you can see when I show it to you that there are kind of some remnants of organization in there. But as we're heading into the fall and winter months, I'm just wanting to make sure that I have everything organized, stuff that we have put in there to save from the summer, that that is findable and that it's ready to use for different recipes and things. So. Anyway, uh, this is just gonna be some freezer organization ideas for me, just stuff that I am finding is working for us. You may do it differently. You will see when this is all said and done, I'm not as much interested in my freezer looking cute as I am it being very functional and very easy to get things in and out and very easy to see what I have. So you may be the same, you may not, but if that kind of sounds up your alley, then I think you might enjoy this video. So first thing I did was just evaluate what I need freezer space for. This has changed over different seasons of life. The what I saved in the freezer and what I put in the freezer when we lived in our condo versus what I save and freeze now with having extra freezer space and living in a house and having a family is different. Once we moved into our house, I became a little bit more intentional about using our freezer space, mostly because we had more of it, and then also trying to just be more efficient with the food that we got and trying to stock up on things a little bit more and really having the space to do that and so trying to take full advantage of it. So you'll see there's meat, there's vegetables, frozen fruit, some things like that. And that's just because right now at this moment we are in a season of summer heading into fall. It's now officially fall. And so I'm looking a lot at, we had a fairly big garden this summer for us, the, the biggest garden that we have had. And so there were quite a few things that I wanted to preserve. And just being totally honest here, I, I don't can. I have not canned a uh, Maybe someday I will get into canning, but that's not to this point something that I have done. And so I use the freezer a lot. There's a portion of our freezer space that has been dedicated to saving things from our garden. So you will see tomatoes in there and shredded zucchini and cucumbers. Yes, you can freeze cucumbers. That was something that I had to look up. So that has kind of been the focus lately. So that's back to number one, what I was saying, evaluate what you need your freezer space for. So in evaluating what we need our freezer space for currently, it's trying to preserve a lot of what we grew over the summer or trying to stock up on meat. So that's the focus for the freezer right now. Number two, as I was looking at the freezer, was just to pinpoint trouble spots. We all have them. And <laughs> for me, in looking at the upper freezer that's in our kitchen, oh my gosh, I will save the heels of loaves of bread to make breadcrumbs. So you can take those and bake them in the oven and make breadcrumbs, which is great. But the problem is I just throw heels in there and keep throwing heels in there and keep throwing heels in there. And uh, it has taken me a little while in the past to get to actually making the breadcrumbs. It's not hard to do. All you have to do is just pull them out, put them on a pan, put them in the oven for, you know, 425 for 15 minutes, you know, all of that's approximate, depends on your oven, but all that to say, it's not a hard thing to do, but it's just something that I haven't gotten around to doing. So honestly, when I removed all of those bread bags with heels in them, uh, it was taking up quite a bit of precious freezer space. And so I don't wanna give up 
making the breadcrumbs. It's worth it, it's an easy thing to do, but I think in future I will come up with a better way to store those rather than just throwing the bread bag in there. Another one is bananas. I don't know if you have this problem. We love banana bread and banana muffins at our house, so I will throw overripe bananas in the freezer, but then sometimes, again, over time, uh, you get a lot of bananas that build up in there, so if I'm not diligent to keep baking banana bread on a regular basis, then that can end up becoming a, a bit of a problem in the freezer. Last trouble spot, ice trays and ice cubes. And again, this is the upper part of our fridge, the freezer that is in our kitchen. And so we don't have an ice machine in there, and so I need to do ice cube trays, and then I have a little you know, ice cube tub that I keep in there. I determined that I really wanted to have a spot in there where I could have the trays and the container, the ice cube little tub, that it was just, I could reach in, grab it, pull it out, and it was not hard and it wasn't sliding all over the place. That's a trouble spot that I really wanted to solve. So as I started decluttering stuff in both freezers, I kind of moved on to step three, and that was to just get rid of stuff that's past its prime. We honestly didn't have a lot of stuff that was past its prime, but we did have a lot of cucumbers in our freezer. And I will say I learned a big lesson in the garden this year, this is just a side note, and that is I planted way too many cucumbers. Um, I think we had six different plants that we had trellised in the garden, and we were a family of four, and so we had a lot of cucumbers. And while it's true that you can freeze them, and I was eager to freeze them, there were some that I just waited too long to pull them off, or I left them on the counter too long before I threw them in the freezer. And in reading a little bit about freezing cucumbers online, one of the big things they say is you really wanna freeze them in their prime. So I did go ahead and get rid of cucumbers that I had saved in the vain hope that I could use them. I hate wasting food, but I learned a big lesson for next year, and that is to plant fewer uh, cucumbers. Sometimes you will have stuff that is past its prime because it's freezer burned, it's been in there too long. Sometimes you will have stuff that you just thought you were gonna use, you were so sure that you were gonna use, and you just haven't used it. And so you need to decide whether or not you're actually gonna make use of that. There was some stuff I found that I thought, oh, I haven't used this yet. But honestly, the reason wasn't because I didn't want to, the reason was because I forgot it was in there. And I don't know if you can relate to that as well, where you're digging in the back of the freezer and you're like, oh, I meant to do X, Y, and Z with this and I completely forgot it was in here. But one of those things was I had been saving up bones to make bone broth and so I was looking through the freezer and found the bag of bones in there and it was like, oh, I've been meaning to do this for months, completely forgot about it because it got covered up with other stuff. So I went ahead and pulled those bones out and I actually started bone broth in the Instant Pot. So great video if you're interested in that, more about how to make bone broth easily at home with your Instant Pot. I will link the video below. It's from Farmhouse on Boone and I love her channel and this is just a really great easy tutorial video about how to make bone broth in the Instant Pot. Again, just a side note if you're interested. So getting rid of stuff that's past its prime, step number four is to wipe everything down. Obvious, but it's just nice to do when you are cleaning out your freezer and decluttering your freezer. And then I started to look at the next step, which is labeling everything. If you have stuff that is in your freezer that is not labeled, you know. We've all done it, where we swear, we put something in the freezer, we're like, oh, I will remember that this is whatever and you totally don't because three months later, four months later, it does not look at all like that and it's covered in frost and you can't tell <laughs> what it is. So it's an obvious one, but label everything. Step number six is to group and contain everything that you have kept. So, and this is where you really get into the strategy of how you put stuff in the freezer so that it's easy to get out. And I would recommend, like you're gonna see an after picture at the end of this video, and I guarantee you that things will tweak and change a little bit after I take this video, because that's just how it works. You get stuff in there and you think, oh, this works great, this will be fine, and then you end up needing to change. Something doesn't work, you go grocery shopping and you realize that you've got a problem. And so you just start with the best setup that you think according to what your family's needs are, set the freezer up the best you can, and then you just tweak as you need to. So I use, you can see for both freezers, and you will laugh because this is, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love these Dollar Tree bins and I use them all over the place in our house, and the freezer is no exception. The bins are great. It's very easy to see what I have and therefore very easy to, to use what we have. 
so this is the final product of the freezer inside and I have a pull out basket up here we've got ice cream and then I've got some broth stored back there so everything is easy to pull out and see ice right here we don't have an ice maker in our freezer so we do ice trays woohoo and behind that I have a couple of loaves of zucchini bread so I can easily see that behind the ice it's not gonna get buried and lost back there for years okay you were gonna laugh I have so many ice things here um, this is one of our kids teethers and I just have a bunch of ice packs for freezing this is for um, aches and pains you know you can put it so anyway bottom line there's a bunch of different ice in there it's all the way down we do honestly use ice a lot for my husband taking his lunch to work when I take the kids anywhere and we bring lunch food I'm using ice and then like I said stuff that is um, just kind of random uh, over here is more food I've got bananas back there so they have their own space now I can see what I have and remind myself that I need to make banana bread I have a few packages of veggie tots up here and then banana muffins that I have made again clearly like the zucchini bread up there I can clearly see that I have them that they need to be eaten and they're not gonna get lost over here in the door nothing fancy I have two um, frozen jugs of water that we use in our cooler um, when we take our big cooler places and then uh, butter up top here leftover things waffles and so forth and so yeah it's not pretty but it works and now I can see everything and know what I have and it's easy to go from there okay and then this is our freezer in the garage our three-quarter size freezer and this is how this one turned out I am really happy with this so I was able to group a lot of like items and I'll just take you through it from top to bottom. So up here is meat. I've got bacon, bratwurst, uh, different cuts of meat, some sausage here, that's sirloin. These are frozen tomatoes. We've done a lot of tomatoes in the garden this year and I make tomato sauce. And then I'm also gonna try my hand at salsa this year. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, and so I am just storing those because I um, can't make it fast enough before they go bad. So <laughs> I'm saving them there. Zucchini, we had a bumper crop of zucchini as you always do every year. <laughs> um, and so that is shredded zucchini that I just use in muffins and breads. And so that is all kind of cataloged in this basket here. And so none of that gets lost. I know what I have. I know how much I have left. Uh, bread, we buy a lot of bread at one time in the store, so I freeze that. Uh, more petite sirloin. <laughs> it was on sale and that's where it fit. But again, like up here and down here, I can see it. Um, it's not hidden. It's not gonna get lost in the back, so that's great. Uh, two gallons of milk. There's so much you can freeze, you know? I didn't realize this when I was younger, but the older I get, the more I realize there's not a lot that you can't freeze, and so it's good to preserve stuff in that way if you can. Um, down here is tomato sauce, and uh, tomato sauce that I made in the past that we can use. And so I make a tomato sauce and just add meat to it um, when I thaw it, and it's super easy. Or not tomato sauce, sorry, uh, spaghetti sauce. And then, down here is a freezer meal. <laughs> here is frozen ground beef. This is just where it fit, but again, I know what I have. I can open the freezer and see at a glance what I have. And then in this basket, I decided to do chicken. Um, those are rust spots on the side of the freezer, by the way. That's not like lack of cleaning. That's there to stay, unfortunately, but hey, who cares if the freezer is pretty or not? It's a, it's a functional appliance. <laughs> Um, so anyway, chicken in here, this is a fryer here, and then I have frozen chicken back here in this basket. So I can pull up this basket easily and know what I have, what I need to get, and nothing gets lost. Over here in the door, I have frozen cucumbers. Yes, you can freeze cucumbers. I did not know this until I researched this year. We had, again, same as the zucchini, we had a bumper crop of cucumber, and I was like, ah, what do I do? Um, raspberries, I have frozen raspberries here. We are gonna make jam pretty soon. Tomato sauce, slash, I keep calling it tomato sauce. It's spaghetti sauce, but tomato sauce, I know what I mean. 
uh, peppers I just chopped up. We had a good crop of peppers in the garden and some of them, they were just starting to go, so I chopped them up and froze them so I can use them in recipes. Jalapenos, same thing. I'm gonna use these in salsa. So those are right there, and I know where they are and how much I have. Down here is a shelf of green beans. We had a good crop of green beans this year, so I just chopped them up. Um, according to what I read on the interwebs, you do not have to blanch them before you freeze them. So this is my experiment this year to try that. And if it doesn't work, then I will know for next year if they lose their flavor, but I'm hoping that that's not the case because it was super easy to do. Down here, uh, a whole thing of tomatillos. My sister-in-law, graciously, she grew those this year. She gave me a bunch. So I'm using those for salsa, so that's great. Those are just waiting to be used. And then these are plums um, that we have that I need to figure out what to use them for, but I um, am excited to figure out how to use them in some way. So anyway, this is the freezer in the garage. Really stoked with how it turned out, not because it's pretty or, you know, whatever, Pinterest perfect, but because I can see everything we have and I feel like I'm gonna be a much better like steward of what we have and actually seeing what we need and using what we have. That's kind of the big, big thing. So anyway, freezers are wonderful inventions. I was just struck as I was going through all of the stuff in our freezers. In one sense, you can view it as a chore and you can kind of think it's just such a pain to have to go through all these things and kind of inventory everything. But in another sense, I just felt so blessed. Um, we have an abundance, we have an abundance of food and we are just so, um, should be so grateful. So that's it for the video today. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And comment below, please, if you have freezer organization ideas that have worked really well for you as you have been organizing your freezer, trying to figure out how to put what where, and all of that stuff, it would be really helpful for me and I know it would be helpful for others who read it as well. So feel free to comment below and let us know. I hope this video was an encouragement for you. I make videos on this channel all about decluttering, organizing, and creating beauty in your home on a budget. And I will see you next time.